Hey YouTube, uh, this is uh, Jeff here, Umbrella Ops. Um, haven't been on YouTube in a while. I, uh, I did some Just Cause 4 um, gameplay uh, streaming and a few other small things. Uh, but now uh, I'm starting a new series on my channel. And I, I don't really have a name for it yet, but the idea behind it is going to be basically me just talking in my car, commuting to work or commuting to other places in my, my city. Uh, talking about games and film. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest problems I've had with um, trying to start my channel and, and finding time and finding, you know, the the, um, the, uh, the proper time to do it is that I, I don't have time. I'm, I'm going to work. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm with my wife. We're doing other things with my friends, um, family. So what I've decided and what I've kind of come to the conclusion of is that why not? just talk about the things that are, I'm passionate about while I'm driving uh, because it's it's idle time that I mean I can either listen to music or a podcast or whatever it might be but why don't I use that time to actually talk about uh, things that I'm currently thinking about in the uh, gaming and film culture uh, so with that being said um, I'll have a title for it soon hopefully it's catchy and has a nice ring to it. Uh, it might be kind of a corny play on words, but uh, you know we'll see. But what I wanted to talk about today is Anthem. Um, Anthem is probably the most. Hmm, how do I put this? It's kind of a phenomenon. What I mean by that is never have I seen a game that's been so hyped and has fallen so hard amongst critics and, and fans uh, alike. Um, I mean, and, and please, in the comment section, I would, I would be curious to see what, what other games and, and, and projects that, you know, um, that you've noticed have had a lot of hype and a lot of fall and a lot of uh, backlash. Um, but for Anthem, which is one of the most recent, um, you know, it, it's kind of an anomaly. Um, you know, Anthem was, was hyped up at, at E3. They showed a great presentation of uh, potential of what the game would be. Uh, they showed, um, you know, uh, some, some great footage, some great, uh, some great effects, some great, some really great graphics. Um, but, you know, come to launch, the game launched disastrously. I mean, and I'm sure um, if you haven't been living under a rock, or, you know, more, more yesterday, you're, you're aware of this. Um, you know, it, it uh, didn't do so well. Um, you know, it, it launched with, with bugs, it launched with terrible loading times, um, it launched with um, basically no end game, no real content. Um, you know, now, when I was leveling up from 1 to 30, uh, it felt like, you know, it felt good because I was still leveling up, I was still. Um, you know, I was still earning new weapons, I was earning new abilities, and it felt fresh then. But once I hit 30, and during all of this, we're having technical problems, loading times, very, very long, uh, etc. But, you know, once you hit level 30, and you have basically all the weapons in the game, um, masterworks, some legendaries, um, you're out of things to do, because you've got three strongholds, and free play, which is is fun but also very underwhelming. Um, and you're constant, you're just in a constant grind, playing these strongholds over and over and over again to hopefully um, get some legendary loot. And you know the, the, there was a big uproar and a big backlash by 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 gamers and fans of the game itself that didn't like the fact that you know they were putting all this time. Uh, into the game and not getting anything out of it. You know, it felt like Bioware is not um, respecting their time, and you know, I and I felt that way too. I, as a matter of fact, I uh, I bought it on launch. I bought the deluxe edition, and you know, I uh, I liked it at first. You know, but as time went on, um, you know, the game became flat because you're out of things to do. There's no end game. Um, there's nothing left to do but grind for loot that you may or may not get. Um, and so, 
you know, with, with all of that, you know, I, I stopped playing. I, I just, there was no real reason to come back to it. And, you know, there's a, there's a big testament and something to be said for the fact that I've played it so long before giving up on it. And I think that's what I want to talk about is that Anthem, you know, from what we know from the Kotaku article, what we know from the production of that game and development of that game, we know that it was it was you know, you know, so many problems. We know it was it was it was just you know littered with with problem after problem after problem. Um, and you know, it had a troubled production and terrible launch and uh, lots of bugs and lots of loading times and lots of um, balancing mechanic issues, you know? But at the game's core, and I will stand by this today, the game's core mechanics and the game's moment-to-moment -moment gameplay felt so good to me and worked so well that it kept me playing. Also, the story isn't bad. I mean, I know people criticize the story as not being very original. You know, it's not, not really, but it's engaging enough uh, to me as someone who likes that kind of stuff, uh, kind of space opera, um, you know, uh, kind of kind of uh, drama, um, you know, but, you know, at its core, the game had really, really fresh gameplay and um, it was fun to go in there and, and fly and, and, and move around and maneuver, have all this mobility and, you know, I mean, it, it just felt right. Um, but there's the problem of not having any content to back that up. You can have great moments, moment gameplay, but if you don't, if you don't have new things and new exciting things for the player to do, besides fly around and free play, and uh, you know, do some events, you know, and then and then go back into a stronghold and then grind that out, and then may may or maybe maybe not get um, any loot, you know, that's that's a problem. Um, and then we got lucky, you know, we got really lucky because, well, I don't know if it's luck, but, you know, it, it's fortunate we got the um, Cataclysm. Now, originally, the Cataclysm was supposed to come out in May. It was supposed to launch in May as part of the Act 1 uh, part of Anthem. As we all know, that didn't happen. <laughs> it, it took um, much longer for the Cataclysm to launch. Uh, now, uh, PC users got to uh, play it first and test it, and um, and that's fine. But console players like myself, having a PS4, um, were kind of left to wait. And when we finally got Cataclysm, I was uh, not excited. I, I, by that point, I hadn't given up on Anthem. You know, I still had the game. I still would go in occasionally, but I certainly wasn't invested in it anymore. I certainly wasn't um, making it a part of my daily gaming regimen. Um, but then I started to play it, and I didn't really quite get it at first. Like, okay, there's some puzzles. Uh, there's there's a time. There's a time limit. Um, you know, what is this? Is this even worth my time? You know, and and then I started to kind of get into the groove of what that game was about, with the multipliers and earning more points, and, and and finding the time runes and finding all the secrets. Then I started to kind of get it and started to really kind of grasp the idea of what they were trying to do, and I liked it. And uh, other people did too. You know, the player base went way up. Granted, it, it wasn't a complete turnaround. You know, the game wasn't you know uh, you know somehow automatically now fantastic or you know it, you know completely redone. It wasn't it wasn't a no man's sky situation, uh, but it was a hell of a lot more fun to play because you had more things to do, and the cataclysm forced you to work together with a team, um, albeit you know everyone is who's played the cataclysm has been in a, you know, a, a team where not everyone's working together, which can be very annoying, uh, but, you know, it, it forced us to work together um, and solve puzzles and, and, and find secrets and, and all of that. And on top of that, of course, the, the core gameplay mechanics are great. They feel great. Um, you know, and it was only supposed to be a seven-week event. They, they extended it to, a, I believe, an eight-week event uh, for an extra week. Um, but in the back of my mind, the entire time, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, this is great, 
but it's going to end, and, and what do they have planned next? What do they have planned for the future of Anthem? And, you know, they didn't. <laughs> you know, and, and I had that sinking suspicion that, you know, they didn't have anything up their sleeve, really, to give us after that. We're gonna go back to playing Stronghold, we're gonna go back to going to free play and doing that and trying to grind for uh, more legendary loot, you know, and that's exactly what's gonna happen, I think. You know, they, they, they uh, the live, uh, I believe the live director of BioWare, or maybe she's on Anthem, correct me if I'm wrong, he came out and said that, you know, it was a big article, you know, okay, the, you know, what's next for Anthem? You know, and he basically said, and I'm paraphrasing uh, pretty crudely, I, I might add, that I had nothing, I had nothing to tell you, really, other than we're stripping the axe structure completely. You know, the axe structure is completely gone. So that's been taken away. And in place of that, what, what he was explaining was that instead of doing that, they're gonna do, uh, you know, frequent updates uh, of similar things like the Cataclysm. Uh, and I think he used the word chase, kind of chase fins. I'm not really sure what he meant by that, but, you know, they're taking away the um, act structure. It was supposed to be act one, two, three, and I think there was a fourth. It's completely gone now. And so you can look at it two ways. And I'm still kind of on the fence about this. You can look at it as Anthem is sinking, Anthem is in full maintenance mode, and Anthem is in trouble. You can look at it like that, or you can look at it as, okay, they recognize that maybe the act structure isn't realistically um, you know, a, a good thing for them to do. Uh, in terms of the amount of player base they have and, and you know the amount of assets they want to um, put into it and so they want to do more seasonal updates smaller seasonal bite-sized updates that are fun and like the cataclysm um, but it keeps the game going and people like the cataclysm so why not so there's two ways you can look at it and you know i'm kind of in the middle i, I don't really know what um what to think you know what I, what I want to think, I, I, I want to think that Anthem has, you know, uh, what it takes to uh, stay alive and stay relevant for, for, for fans and, and for, for us to keep wanting to come back. But I'm also very wary of that. I also think that we might be in, in, in big trouble. We might be in a lot of trouble um, with the future of Anthem, if there is a future of Anthem. But whatever happens with Anthem, with the community, with the fans, with the game, you know, I think there is something very profound, maybe, to be said about the fact that the fans of Anthem have stuck this long with the game because we know the game has potential. We know the game has potential to be great. You know, it's not, and, you know, I'm not blind to that. I'm not um, blindly um, ecstatic and in love with Anthem knowing its problems, but the game has so much potential that we want it to do well. The fans of Anthem want it to do well, you know? And I hope, you know, I really hope that, you know, it, it continues to get better. I don't know if it will, but for everyone who said that Anthem was a complete waste of time and complete garbage, um, I don't think they're getting it. You know, and it's one thing to not like that style of game, uh, games as a service kind of style. Um, but it's another thing to just write it off as complete garbage. The game has positive merits. The game has positive things about it that are fun and that are interesting and that are fun to play. And I think that's why myself <laughs> um, believe in Anthem somewhat. And, and want to believe in Anthem as, as a game that's going to do well and it's going to, that's going to progress and get better. And that might be wishful thinking, but the gameplay mechanics, the core moments of a gameplay is fun. And we just want that to be sustainable with the amount of content we're given. We want things to do with those mechanics. We, we want things other than a stronghold and some free play and some cataclysm every now and then. We want more. 
And I think that that's all we're asking for. We're asking for, look, if you want to strip the axe structure, fine, totally fine. But in place of that, make sure you're giving us content that we want to come back to and that's rewarding, rewarding of our time. And so I'm hoping, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, trying, I'm trying to look at this as kind of a balanced, even keel perspective, not extremist, not, you know, all good or all bad or, you know, none of that. I'm trying to look at it as a, in a balanced way where, you know, things might be okay. They might not, and they might be terrible, and we might be in for Anthem completely dying uh, by the end of the year, which is a possibility. Um, but I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out for Anthem. I, I, I like the potential of Anthem enough, and I like the gameplay enough, and the story enough to stick with it and keep hoping and crossing my fingers that this isn't the end for Anthem. So, you know, that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'm at my destination, and uh, thank you guys for uh, listening and putting up with me, flipping my hair every five seconds. I need to get a haircut. Um, but, um, you know, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Anthem? What do you think about uh, the future of Anthem? If there is a future with Anthem, what do you think about um, what might become of um, Bioware? You know, what, what kind of state is Bioware in and, and where are they going to go? Like, how is Dragon Age going to turn out? How, you know? So I want to hear your thoughts about this. Do you think I'm delusional? Do you think I'm um, having wishful thinking? Um, or on the other side of the coin where you, where you believe in Anthem and you believe in uh, the future of it and you believe in, um, you know, the what can be, you know? So let me know. Um, again, this is a new thing. Um, production values are, are pretty low as I'm, you know, just starting out, this is my first YouTube um, kind of excursion that I want to do. Uh, but I hope to continue doing this. Continue doing this. It's it's fun to just kind of drive around and talk about things I like, and it doesn't take take up my time. Um, and so let me know what you think. Um, I want to hear your thoughts, and I'll be back on the next video, um, hopefully soon. So thank you very much, guys.